I think it's about time we do that. I think it's about time we go ahead, get the engine started, throw this thing into high gear. We got a finale to get to. So let's do just that. This is where we left off. <laughs> let's massacre the sadness. We left off because we had a feeling of the unease settling over us, which is probably nothing. It's just probably because we're looking at who I would consider the queen of uneasiness and pessimism on you herself. あら、減りましたね。途中で食事に寄った方が良かったんじゃないですか。そうですね。もうすぐ8時か。お昼が遅かったから忘れてました。とりあえず話を聞いたらおたふくにお茶漬けでも食べに行きましょう。景観を4人
あとは県警同士のトップ会談で決着するでしょう。It's going nerd. Hope you're doing well. 向こうのボンミスは確定してるんですから。認めると怒られると思って、躍起になって上乗りしてるんですよね。いやはや、そういう体質は改めないといけません。The car suddenly shook. The concrete road had ended, leaving only gravel. At that point, there was a gra- at that point is where the gravel road begins. You're officially in Hinamazawa. They continue to drive through the woods for a while. You're not doing well. Yeah! Yeah, the end of that arc looked pretty bad. Things, things looked to not be going、uh, so great for our friends in Hinamazawa.、Um, boy, oh boy. Things, look, things were looking real, real bad there. Woo! <laughs> Woo! ちょいと止めて。Huh? I wish he had told him to stop immediately. Kumagai quickly slammed on the brakes. Their seat belts tightened up, keeping, keeping them in their seats. どうしたんですかあの車。何やってんだろうな。こんなところで。I wish he tapped on the rear view mirror. There was a van parked just off the road. Rather beat up, it looked like it was used for a private company. There was no reason for someone to park their car here, especially at this time of night. Kumagai also thought it looked suspicious. The car seemed empty, but there was a light flashing in the woods nearby. Probably a flashlight. If I've told my chat anything, it's that I don't want any illegal dumping. If you need to poop, you do it in a legal toilet. Masaka, shita y u m e t e r n j a n a i d a r o n a a r u i w a s h i g e k i b u s o k no a b e k k a n a Came here in my love van. Kuruma no sense kara shite sore wa nai ka. なあ、お気の宮 PS どうぞ、聞こえてるかなな<笑>こんばんは、さようなら。こちら、お気の宮 PS。関東良好です。ああ、車両ナンバー紹介お願いします。獅子骨ハノ四三四四。発症、獅子骨ハノ四三四四。少々お時間もらいますが、よろしいですかお願いしますおいさん地図で見るとここ電話会社の施設がありますね電話会社の施設って何ですかそりゃ It was listed as a facility, but it wasn't staffed. It was just a place where machines were installed. Kumagai wasn't sure how telephone lines actually work, but either way, it seemed like some kind of connecting device was located there. <laughs> 電話会社にゃあ見えませんね。電話会社なら、そう書いた車で来るはずっすよね。委託の伝説業者か何かの可能性もあります。直接聞いた方が早そうですね。I wish he wasn't sure if that was the case. After all, why would any phone company do, go and do maintenance so late at night? 行ってみましょうか。フルデさんたちを待たせてますからね。Phones are like miracles. Nobody's figured them out yet. So, s n e His well honed detective instinct was trying to tell him something. This feeling wasn't one that Oishi could easily explain. He had a strange sense that something was suspicious without any real reasoning behind it. Oishi trusted that he could judge others' character with that sense. Ugui's two, or Ugui's one. Shario Gai Shidai Tesha. Sari Olimasta. おそらく刑事ですそちらへ接近中1分未満で接触します It was pitch black yet they could see two newcomers clearly They were probably using a night vision scope 全隊員注意せよウグイス2から5はグリーンライトを待てウグイス7から8は前後 100m のクリアを確認せよ待機ウグイス4 5聞こえたらウグイス4了解
ウグイス5了解ウグイス7了解ウグイス8了解ウグイスより本部ウグイスより本部電話設備工作中にトラブル私服警官2名の職質と思われる発砲許可を申請本部了解許可を待て By the time Oishi and Kumagai reached the phone facility, they were being watched from all directions. There were two pairs of binoculars and two sniper rifles pointing at them. The Mountain Dog operatives worked in two man units, a sniper and a spotter, to secure the means of retreat. They had all taken different positions so that they could shoot Oishi no matter which way he tried to run. They were all in camouflage suits hiding deep in the woods. Oishi, of course, had no chance of spotting them. The snipers had their rifles trained on the detectives' heads. Oishi and Kumagai had no idea that they were on the verge of losing their very lives. The snipers' rifles had their safeties on, but a flick of their thumbs would release them. In other words, they were ready to shoot if given the order. The detectives found the fenced in machinery right behind the parked van. There was a sign there saying that it was property of the Nippon Telegraph, Telegraph and Telephone Corporation, and another sign warning people to keep away. Domo, Konnichiwa. Domo, Domo. Sorry, I'm going to go to the store. There were four men working there wearing blue overalls. They had, they had a toolbox open and were working on some wires. Oh,もう仕事中お邪魔してすみません。警察のものでございます。家ね。不思議なところに不思議な時間に車が止まっていたもので、どうしちゃったのかなと思いまして。そうですか。お仕事ご苦労様です。うちらももうちょっとで終わ
おまわりさんそんな意地悪言われちゃかなわないです勘弁してください私ら早く作業を終えて帰らなきゃならないんです Judging from their progress, it didn't look like they'd be cleaning up anytime soon. In fact, it almost seemed like they were just getting started. Oishi raised his voice threateningly. The members of the Mountain Dogs gradually started to look more and more annoyed. Oishi looked over their expressions and gave them a big wide grin. However, Oishi had no idea. He thought he could handle these suspicious people with no issues. Of course, in reality, they were horrific demons that he had no chance against. Meanwhile, Kumagai was heading back to the car. He was intending to contact the police department. He was going to call the station using the radio. That then, in turn, the police department would contact the NTT. That way, it could, that way, it would become clear who they really were dealing with. The sniper was still aiming at Kumagai's head as he headed back towards their car. The safety, the last line protecting Kumagai's life, was disengaged. The sniper put his finger on the trigger. He was wearing a glove with the fingertips cut out. The finger poking through the hole was very rough and merciless. For as soon as he slightly moved his finger, that would take someone's <laughs> life. Kumagai heard a quiet noise. It was similar to the sound of a jump rope that they used as a whip when he was little. And then that was the last thought that Kumagai had in this world. Kumagai collapsed into the gravel. That was it. He didn't even twitch. <coughs> Oishi was laying on his back in the concrete after getting shot in the chest. His lungs were filled with blood, which began to pour out of his mouth. Oishi only realized that he'd been shot when the world began to blur before his eyes. As his world killed. As his world killed over, he saw a man in a work uniform leveling a gun at him, but it didn't matter anymore as he started drowning in his own blood. Well, that's. Oh. Yep, Oishi went missing in Arc 3. ただものじゃないんだろ。突起事故欄は完全に空欄ですね。え、すぐ押してもなし。原点も同じだし。パッシングでもされて腹が立ったんじゃないの。あの人、根に持つとなかなか忘れないタイプなんだよ。<笑> ウグイスより本部。2名を射殺。作業を再開。本部了解。警官の車両処理は慎重に行われたし。サンサ、ウグイスは警官2名を排除、作業を再開。おやすみなさい、大石さん。よー、チェックです。チェックです。ゴーズ
Yeah, just in cold fucking blood like that, right? She just wants some coffee, man. Nothing, <laughs> nothing like, nothing after killing a cop or two. And, <laughs> you know, a nice glass of coffee afterward. Dozo. Yeah, yeah, walking spoiler. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. R Tak Nyo Aizen, Shifu Kekan Sumeto, Sorekara, Eugene Sumenga Irisotes. Arua, Zibunga Kunya, Korosare Kotoni, Kanzi Teritoshka, Moemasen. Saksenga Moratims. Yahari Kekoa, Enki Spekito. The crucial part of this final mission was the death of Rika and what came after that. They couldn't just kill her whenever they wanted. Doing it at the doing it at the right time was a bad thing. ちがうわね。神を<笑> この村の伝説のフィナーレを飾る。私の作り上げた物語はその時こそ本当の祟りになるの。It was past 8 p.m. Mion ordered some noodles for us as a uh, her treat. We also ordered some food for the four officers, and we all ate together. We were supposed to call it a night. We were supposed to call it a night as soon as we talked to Oishi, but he's still not here. However, we all took it easy, assuming that they'd get here sooner or later. It's getting late. Once you get to Hinamazawa, there aren't many places to get something to eat. I'm sure they're having a quick dinner before coming here. However, the four officers seem anxious. They all had families, but Oishi didn't tell them how late they'd have to be out here. They're hoping that Oishi will bring other officers to relieve them so they can go home. They called the station, but they said that the, that Oishi was on his way, and we should wait because he'll be here soon. He stopped for a game of mahjong somewhere. That's all. そうだな。何時に終わるのかもわからない仕事って疲れるもんな。警察の人には休んでもらって私たちが夜景にでも立ちます。佐藤子のトラップワークで不審者の接近を阻むとか。甘いですわね、シオンさん。ここは私とリカ
I want to believe that he's getting something to eat on the way, but I'm starting to get concerned. <laughs> Send the police home, they look tired, right? <laughs> I wish he still hadn't shown up. It's almost 11 o'clock. The officers were completely exhausted. They had even started to smoke cigarettes outside. My friends are becoming tired too. Satoko is yawning. It was part of her. it was way past our bedtime. Everyone else is getting tired and sleepy. We've been spending our time watching TV and reading manga. I can feel my fear succumbing to sleepiness. Today is almost over. I'm going to survive the day I'm supposed to die. Does that mean that I escaped my deadly fate? No, I'll have to fight endlessly from tomorrow on. I was going to discuss that with Oishi. Since he's not here, I don't know what to do from this point on. Suddenly, the phone rang, breaking the silence. Oishi-san-ka? Moshi-moshi? Furu de nano desu. Yabun osoku ni moshiwake arimasen. Okinomi yasho no Komiyama to moshimasu. Sumimasen. Uchi no Oishi desu ga sochiba ni orimasu ka? Iie.僕たちもずっと待っているところなのです。そうですか。わかりました。申し訳ございませんが、そちらに行っている警官に今から応援が行くので引き継いだら祈祷するようお伝えいただけますか。わかりましたです。それで大石はどこに？夕方頃直接そ
みんなありがとうです。刑事さんたちが来てくれましたし、もう大丈夫なのです。I don't like the idea of splitting up the band right now. <laughs> I don't I think it's a bad idea. <laughs> Jama de Nakereba, Atastachimo Tomario. Daijobu Nanodes. Daichi of Tomo Nemakimo Naino des. Jasta. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Korekarawa, Narubek Rika Chan to Ishoni Ryoni Shio. 部活はリカちゃんの家でやるっていうのでどうかなあらそれなら素敵でございますわよみ僕たちの家の床が抜けてしまうかもしれませんです<笑>違いねえなじゃあ、リカちゃま、私たちこれで帰りますけど、用心してください。暗闇で一人になるなんてことは、絶対しないように。気をつけますです。じゃあね、また明日。はいです、また明日。See you tomorrow. Am I really going to see them tomorrow? I have no clue. I've tried so many things over the past 100 years. I've done so many things and I've had memories of most of them. That's why I feel so scared on the day I die. It's the only day that I have no memory of. I don't even know that I'm, if I'm approaching or escaping my death right now. All I know is this fear is going to continue until I find some kind of solution. As I started getting ready to go to bed, Satoko suggested that I should sleep in my regular clothes rather than my pajamas. She was thinking that I should remain dressed just in case someone tries to attack me in my sleep. It sounded ridiculous, but she was just trying to be considerate. Okay, I got you. Hold on. Nippa! There you go. Satoko seemed, to, Satoko seemed so sleepy until moments ago, but she suddenly started passionately explaining to me all the traps she set in the shrine grounds. She assured me that the strangers will end up trapped if they try to sneak inside this building. To someone else, it might sound like she was just trying to brag, but Satoko was trying to make me feel better. After everyone else left, she noticed how scared I looked. Satoko's kindness and everyone else's kindness. I felt, it was, I felt it was the right decision for me to talk to my friends, even if it won't end up changing my fate. Hanyu shut up again. She looked upset, so she was probably still thinking that I could get killed at any minute. But I'm actually starting to feel a little better. I might get killed tomorrow, but I feel like I can rest safely at least tonight. I'm more concerned about the fact that Oishi didn't show up. Still, even if he didn't, the other detectives are here and will stay on guard downstairs without sleeping. As long as they're here, I think I'll be safe tonight. <laughs> Hanyu would casually cheer up when I. Hanyu would usually cheer up when I suggested drinking some juice, but not this time. Her face looked pale, as if she wasn't even alive. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm. Okay, something out of the ordinary had clearly happened. That sounded far more like a declaration than a prediction. Even Hanyu doesn't have any memories of my death. There's no way she can tell when I will be killed. However, she sounded so certain just now. Perhaps we can feel it in the very cells of our body. Our bodies understand fate better than we do. Up until now, I felt reassured that we could get through it somehow if we were all together. But as I clung to that life preserver, with a hole leaking air, I was starting to drown in a sea of despair and struggling to keep my head above water. No, I can't let myself feel that way. I have to believe. I'm gonna fight, but first... I need a nappy. I need a nappy time. I'm sweepy. I'm sweepy. Ugh. <sighs> 
Honey just gave me a look of faint sadness. That silence told me that my pitiful hope was going to push me down into a futile reality. I stared at Satoko as she continued to brag about her traps. If I'm getting killed shortly, Satoko won't be safe either. I quickly interrupted her to talk about I quickly interrupted her talk about traps. <laughs> yeah, is it like midnight? The time was one in the morning. Hey, she didn't die tonight, technically. It's hardly a big city. 1 a.m. in Hinamazawa is the middle of the night. The darkness here gets very deep. There was a light leaking out from the first floor where the two detectives sat on guard, but everything else was pitch black. Even the moonlight seemed indistinct. こんなに月の綺麗な夜だもの。始めなさい。刑事は排除でよろしいですか。そうね。今夜古出神社にいた人間は全てが突然と姿を消し、鬼隠しとなる。本部より大鳥。作戦開始。保証の刑事2名は実力で排除せよ。なお発砲は許可しない。繰り返す。発砲は許可しない。本部より動いす。大鳥が作戦を開始する。電話線を遮断せよ。動いする了解。遮断する。they had been working to disable the phone lines just in case their target tried to contact police during the attack. That mission was what Oishi happened to bump into. じゃあ、始めるかいね。大鳥 テーサを使え。単純で武装してるぞ。打たせるな。おこのぎ。素人相手に手こずらないでよ。まあ、仕事ですね。大鳥<笑><笑> Two men in uniform slowly approached the building. The mountain dog's uniforms uniform is gray, so it didn't blend in so it didn't blend in with the surroundings at all. However, it doesn't look as suspicious as real camouflage suits. Of course they looked suspicious enough to be creeping up on a house like this anyway. They could both see light leaking from the door and hear the voices of the detectives. Rika would typically use the sliding door to get inside. The door was locked, but the mountain dogs had obtained a spare key a long time ago. They put the key in the keyhole, but it wouldn't go in smoothly. They were certain it would make some kind of noise when they turned it. The detectives would notice them in the minute they tried that. They'd have to rush inside and defeat them in one swift burst. Phoenixes 7 and 8 glanced at each other. See, they're just gonna clean up the place. They're gonna go in. They got they probably got probably got some brooms. They got mop. I'm gonna go clean it up. Maybe we just completely misinterpreted all this. Maybe there's just this big misunderstanding. Okay. He turned the key in a hurry and opened the lock. By the time the detectives turned around, the door was already open and the two mountain dogs had stepped inside. They had aimed their weapons at the detectives while the latter were still turning around. In a fight like that, the first two seconds are the most crucial moments. Yeah. The detectives collapsed, making minimal noise. There were needles stuck in their bodies, and the needles were connected via wires on the, the attacker's guns. In other words, the weapons those two had weren't ordinary guns. They were stun guns in the shape of firearms. Instead of bullets, they'd shoot out electric needles and electrocute their victims into unconsciousness. Normally, they would be non-lethal weapons that allow the shooter to capture their victim without harming them that much, but their tasers had been modified. The two dogs... The two dogs started walking up the stairs as soon as they confirmed that the detectives were no longer breathing. But in the next moment, they heard a loud noise above them. Oh shit! We're just got it. We're just fucking going for it! 
裏の茂みへ逃走している<笑>オードリー、フォー、ファイブ、そっちへ行くぞ制圧しろ Well, you, considering that it is Japan and that firearms aren't very prevalent there,、uh, explaining how advanced weaponry like that work or weaponry that, like, that you, like this that is used for this type of suppression, explaining those kinds of things is probably、uh, a good decision. Odori 4, Chimok! Phoenix 4 spotted the two girls and started after them, but he suddenly stepped on something hard. It was a cheap sounding explosion and the area was filled with smoke. This was a trap Satoko had set using firecrackers. That had proven to be a very fortunate idea. The mountain dogs dropped to the ground, assuming they were under fire. That gave Rika and Satoko a chance to escape. Oh shit! Satoko out here earning a bunch of points right now. どうした応答しろ今の音は何だこちらオートリファイブ銃撃を受けた模様 R は突破した追撃するくそ、感触玉か何かだ畜生め<笑>サトコちゃんねやるわね<笑>ああ、なっさけな近場の班は急行しろ人家に逃げ込まれたらアウトだぞオートレイエイティン発見した追跡中応援を送れ二人は土地勘が強いわよ早く抑えないと確実に見失うわ This wasn't a game of hide and seek It was a game of tag Several men in uniform were chasing after Rika and Satoko They weren't idiots so they didn't waste energy on the futile act of shouting wait This was a quiet deadly game of tag in the middle of the night <laughs> They might be the murderers. You, you, you might be onto something. Stoko had no idea that Mion had a basement in her house. Oh boy! How about that basement, y'all? We're gonna go to the basement. <laughs> oh boy! But she didn't have time to ask anything about it under the current circumstances. All she did was nod. The next moment, I felt my left foot catch on something and I fell down on the ground. I must have tripped on a rock or a piece of concrete. Rika! Satoko, I'm going to get it! I'm going to get it! But Satoko wouldn't move on without me. She came back to lend me a hand. I stood up without her help, but it cost us too much time. Oh no. One of the men had almost caught up with us. I didn't know what to do, but Satoko, upon seeing him, quickly reacted. Oh. Satoko ran towards him and kicked him with all of her might. Her foot had landed right in his face. I wish I had a camera. But there were two, there were two, were two more of them right behind the first man. I can see them clearly now. They were the gardeners from the landscape company. They're wearing the same uniforms Okanogi is always wearing. They must be the mountain dogs. Now I'm certain that Takano is the culprit, and now that I know that, I can do something about it in the next world. But if I die now, will I lose my memory again? I can't die now. I need to survive so I can keep my memories. Sotoko took something out of her pocket and threw it at them. It was something like sand, and it blinded them. However, even that could only buy us a few seconds. Sotoko tried to run, but she froze as soon as they aimed their weapons at us. Their stun, guns are only shaped, their, their, stun, their stun guns are only shaped like firearms. Satoko, not knowing that, thought they were real guns. Knowing that she'll be shot if she turned and ran, Satoko tried to attack them instead. Of course, there were three of them. Most would think it impossible to drive them off, but Satoko didn't think about that. She had a 100% chance of dying if she tried to run. Then she might as well fight back because she might have a 1% chance of defeating them. Satoko is determined to save me, even at her own expense, but I can't stay in this world if it means losing Satoko. I'm dying anyway. I'd rather die for Satoko's sake than lose her, but. Another me is shouting in my mind. If I didn't survive this, I'll lose my memory. If I die without keeping this memory, this life and everything I've learned will all be wasted. Should I escape and leave Satoko behind? That's right, I should use this experience to my advantage in my next life. 
I should just let her go. I should just let go of her in this world. But I know in my heart, there's no way I can win against these guys. I'm sure their backup will get here if we take our time to fight them. Should I fight them for her, or should we leave? Or, or should I leave so I can so I can confront my true enemy? I didn't want it. Oh, it's just making the right choice, I guess. I didn't do that. It just did it for me. <laughs> Because I didn't think this one had a choice up front. <laughs> so I was like, wait a minute. This one didn't have choices. Satoko's bravery gives me courage. If I left her, I'd lose my motivation to defeat her. I don't care if I lose my memories. It only took a hundred years for me to get this information. I don't care if I have to spend another hundred years in this same June. I can't leave Satoko. Satoko, <laughs> I had noticed something. They're only aiming at Satoko. They must have a reason why they can't shoot me, so I stood in front of Satoko to protect her. Just as I expected, they put their guns down and prepared to take us out without weapons. <laughs> They must think that this is my final speech. They'll let me talk until I finish. The next moment, one of them dropped to the ground. KG had run toward him and kicked him from behind! Let's go! KG had kicked him right in the small of his back and the dog was squirming on the ground! The other two tried to retaliate, but they were too late. Leon grabbed one of the guy's arms from behind and flipped him down to the ground. It must have been some kind of martial art. I've seen something like that in an action movie before. Rena tried to push the remaining dog down with all her strength, but it wasn't enough to take him out. He tried to aim his gun at Rena, but she had already done what he, but what she was supposed to do. All she needed to do was get his attention. Shion had snuck up behind him and tried, fired her stun gun into his neck. God damn! Here we go! Here we fucking go! The stun gun made a snapping noise, and the dog fell to the ground with the rest of his friends. Ooh. Number one stunner up in the house. ダジョンか、佐藤に逃げちゃう。まさに奇一発だったな。お前らの足が早いんで、追いつくのに苦労したぜ。ずっと待っててよかったね。張り込んでたかいがあったよ。張り込んでたってあの後お家へ帰らずずっと見張っていましたの皆さんはうん帰り際にねすっごく不審な人がずっと草陰に潜んでて神社を伺ってるのを見てたのうん帰り際にねすっごく不審な人がずっと草陰に
Don't tell them about my murder basement. A white van was approaching us at high speed. It obviously belonged to the Mountain Dogs. The van stopped not far from us, and more people in uniform jumped out. There were at least six of them. If we all run, the slowest runner might get caught, so we should take them down while we can. I don't know if I don't know if they have a license, but Mion and Xion know how to drive a car. We can take their van and get away from here. Yo, I am all for a little Grand Theft Auto right now. I say we do it! We do it! Let's, let's jack these sons of bitches! Yo, Raven! Um, so... To do a little catching up, um... Uh, Oishi's dead, and so is Kumagai. Uh, they got sniped by the Mountain Dogs on their way to, uh, Rika's house. So... Uh, it's all out and out now. We know that the Mountain Dogs are the ones after us, and now we're we're trying to uh, run away in the forest, and we're gonna try to steal a van. I am all for this plan. The Mountain Dogs were ready to chase us. They had no idea that we would try and attack them instead. Runa is always the first one to make a move in this kind of situation. She gets so determined once a decision's made. She immediately singled out one dog and punched him in the nose. <laughs> just, I love the idea of her going up to somebody and just bopping them in the fucking nose. Another one tried to grab her from behind, but Keiichi kicked him in the side as hard as he could. Oi, oi, Rena! やりやすときは背中を気にしろよ。ケイチ君に任せるよ。よろしくね。レナさんの雛見沢吹きまえってめちゃくちゃ興味あります。というか人殴るのに躊躇なさすぎ。スタンガン使うのに躊躇ないあ
私は打ち破る私たちは打ち破る今からねそれをあなたの目の前で見せてあげるよしみんないいね一撃で決めるよ目の前の敵を一人打ち倒せそれから車を奪って逃げるはいです僕もやりますですよ気に入ったぜリカちゃんよっしゃ行くぞ Yeah, like they're like, they, they need to keep this as quiet as possible. On Keiichi's signal, we attacked six of the mountain dogs in unison. Time gradually slowed down. I truly felt like I was trying to overcome that impossible wall of time and change my fate. However, time continued to slow even further until it stopped. What's going on? It felt like the film reel of a movie had gotten hung up part way through. Like time itself had come to a standstill. Hanyu? <laughs> どういうことその時が来たのです。What? どうしてえ ?Wearing a sad expression, Hanyu pointed at Keiichi. I finally noticed something. All of my friends had noticed already. Except for Keiichi. ケイチその。胸の前に浮いているのは何ですか何ってなんだよあこれなんだよ Time had stopped just when Keiichi was about to hit his opponent then he realized that something was floating in front of his heart It was a metallic silver cone That was the first thing I could think of. U. Uso! Kei chan! Na. Nanda yo, kore. Yes, I think we're all frozen in time right now. Masaka. Shudan? That's exactly what it was. The bullet had stopped about 15 centimeters away from Keiichi's chest just before it could enter his body. That's right. Once time starts moving again, it will slam into his chest. In other words, it's too late. Keiichi will immediately die when time starts up again. あ、あそこワゴン車のところですわ Satoko couldn't point at the van Time had completely stopped after all We could see another person standing near the van There had actually been seven people inside Not six The seventh person was the one who fired the bullet We hadn't seen her at all The person is someone we all knew very well Yes, it's Takuno タカノさんだタカノさんが撃ったのケイチ君は In the frozen world, Takano was smiling, still aiming her gun at Keiichi. Takano had been watching us from the van this whole time. She came out and fired her gun, knowing that we hadn't seen her at all. <laughs> そっかなるほどな。やっぱり黒幕は高野さんだったんだな。You should have listened to Tom. ど,どうしよう。ケイちゃん、なんとか体をひねって買わせないんですか。バカ。無理。弾丸だって止まるくらいに、すべてが止まってるんだぞ。I think some anime shits happen in here where time is stopped and we're all communicating with one another on the fourth plane of existence or some shit. 俺だって動けるわけがねえだろな、なら、時間が動き出すのと一緒に上半身をそらすんですのそうすれば少しでも違うかもしれませんわよ Everyone was desperate to save Keiichi However, no matter how hard we thought We wouldn't come up with any ideas to save him from the bullet 
We were so desperate that Keiichi started to laugh. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, this is anime shit happening now when we're talking. That's how it, I, I, this is like second nature to me at this point. <laughs> no, we can't give up on you. So the men of my take I need to remember this! You dumb ghost girl! <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it. Guys, guys, I know how we get out of this. I'm a genius. Takano's a nurse, she can help it. Oh, wait a minute. That was a little short sighted of me, my bad. Sorry. Ah, so does it, Lena. Tano's all me now. Rika Chao. Mazua, Konoba, and you get up there. Can't you get a good one? Tabu, Koizra, Oisa, or Mo Koroster. Takara, I like a matum of Korakatanda. That would be a heel face turn, yeah. Mina, Ikinobiro, Zetida. リカちゃん、最後の最後にごめんな。運命なんて覆せるって大見え切っておきながら最初にリタイアしちまう。It <笑> sounded just like Takano's regular laughter, but it was the scariest noise I'd ever heard. この名残は尽きた。高野さん。これで俺たちが負けたと思うなよ。見終わったのね、ソウマト。The <laughs> silence suddenly ended and the clamor of reality returned. An explosive sound then hit Keiichi straight in the chest. I watched Keiichi collapse right in front of me. He fell down on his back while his blood splattered everywhere, and after that, he stopped moving. Oh, God. There's no way any of us weren't shocked by that. We tried to take down the foes in front of us, but more came from behind. We tried to struggle as best we could, but there was no way we could win against all those adults. I did my best to fight them off, but they pulled my hair and picked me up as if I weighed nothing. I heard everyone's desperate screams of resistance. The comforting and courageous unity we showed right before Cage, he was shot, shattered like glass. The debris of that glass lay sadly on the ground. Takano's annoying laughter was still echoing inside my ears. I was prepared to go. 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 She needs five bags? My body froze up, but time did not. Takano, laughing, pointed her gun at Neon's head. Oh no! Okay, okay. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Thought I was ready for this. Oh, 
見ててつまらないよそう私は楽しいと思うわよやめて兄ちゃんを撃たないで Takano shook her head in response to Rena's scream. Dame yo. Mion chan ga bucho san nan da kara, ichiban ja na kya ne? Uso. Ya, yame! Just mid sentence. Just fucking done. J oh. There was a dull noise followed by Mion's body twitching. We all tried to break free from the men restraining us as Takano calmly shot Mion. However, they were too strong and all we could do was squirm like insects. Takano was enjoying watching us struggle. She then stepped towards Satoko, but Shion started screaming curses at her. おとなしくしてればもう数秒は余計に生きられたのにややめてしおんさん挑発なんかしても意味がありませんでしたよ I know why she's doing that シオン wants to protect Satoko for as long as she can、uh, she's trying to do what Satoshi told her to Takano didn't care one whit for Shion's feelings stepping over Keiichi's body she approached Shion 私、やっとわかりましたよ。サトシ君を。あんたが殺したんですね。そうなんでしょう。あいにくね、メイドの土産って嫌いなの。だから教えてあげないわ。バカ、ベッチ、ジーズスクライス。おお、there you just。Shion's body twitched that had followed the dull sound of another gunshot. Just two dull sounds had stolen away the lively Sonazaki sisters. It didn't add up. I started shaking from fear when it hit me just how easily Takano can take away lives. Keiichi, Mion, and Shion died, and the oldest one of us left was, Re was Rena. Rena didn't want to see Satoko and me die before she did. そのとき私は人としての息をようやく超えることができるの。<笑>まあ、あなたには私の気持ちはわからないでしょうね。人を超えて神になろうとする心地よさなど、誰にも理解できないわよ。<笑>無理だと思うな。高野さんがどれだけお社様のふりをしたって。お社様にはなれないよ。所詮はごっこ遊び。お社様になんか、あなたはなれない。なれるわよ。これからなるもの。Rena laughed at her. Takano seemed very upset to hear that laugh. 何がおかしいのかしら。無理だよ。お社様はいるんだもの。Those were Rena's last words. さて、最後はさとこちゃんね
あなたは殺しても殺さなくてもどうでもいいのでもあなたは生きた研究資料だからね東京はあなたの生きたままの捕獲に懸賞金をつけてくれてるわ大した額じゃない私の取り分はせいぜいヨーロッパに旅行に行ったら消える程度よまあ生け捕りにしてもあなたは結局はろくな目に遭わないけどね生きたまま頭蓋を切開されるのが関の山よそれに私あなたとはお友達だったしねこの場で撃ち殺してあげるのも優しさかと思ってるどっちがいいそんなの決められるわけないでございますわよ、so、Toko shouted back at her. Her eyes were full of tears. じゃあクイズブロッコリーとカリフラワー Oh fuck you! Oh my god! Are you Oh, get, oh, get the entire hell out of here. Oh, fuck, fuck you. Oh, my God. Midori Iro wa dochi? Ka, ye, brokkoli. As soon as I heard the same dull sound, Satoko stopped moving. Takano smiled as she said good girl to what used to be Satoko. Hontoni Konya wa tsuki no kire na steki na yoru da koto. Ne? Anata mo so omo wa nai? So shite. Watashi wo korosu no ne? ね、殺すわ女王感染者の死体が作戦の鍵なのあなたはここから遠く離れた東京の地での醜い政治的勢力争いの具になるのよそして鬼ヶ淵村の伝説のピリオドとなる私をどういう殺し方にするか高野の考えそうなことがわかるあら、わかるの言ってみて。I'm not gonna say it, but I know. It's Watanagashi. She wants to do the real Watanagashi using my body. I'm sure she's planning to cut open my stomach and pull out my guts. To do that, she'll make me inhale some chemical to put me to sleep. I vaguely remember that part. 想像がついてるよね。Yeah, like that question is just like it takes on a whole new meaning now. It's so fucked. Ja, o y a s u m i n a s a i Ika chan. One of the dogs approached me with a handkerchief soaked in a chemical Daka, substance. Machinasai. Minna is a new oxy nanoni. Anata, I know you go in a no. Chinga. But as you call us. Oh, what? Oh, whoa. Takano hadn't expected to hear that. Still, even though she was surprised, she nodded with a slight smile. Hanyu was also surprised to hear that. It would obviously be a terrible way to die. What do you mean? You don't die well? It's a bad thing. 生きたまま腹を裂かれるのは忘れないためよ。Yes, I'm doing this so I'll remember. I'm not going to forget about it. あなたの腹を裂くの。私は魂に刻みつける。Oh, God, this sucks. それを私は絶対に忘れない。Oh. あなたに再び会ったとき。
あなたが敵であることを思い出すために。<笑>何を企んでるやらでもあなたは他の子たちよりは少しは賢明みたいね一秒でも長生きすれば悲鳴を上げるくらいのチャンスはあるかもしれないからねでもそうはさせないわ They forced something other than the handkerchief inside of my mouth. It was a gag. With that in, I could close my mouth, leaving my saliva to start overflowing. Soon, another van arrived. More mountain dogs came out of it. They had probably come to get rid of the bodies. They grabbed the corpses of my friends and stuffed them into body bags. After that, they sprayed a bunch of water on the ground to clean up the blood. They asked Takano how many shots she fired, and she, and she started looking around for the bullets. They were erasing all the evidence. By the time the night was over, there'd be no more proof left. They pulled my hands behind my back and bound them with handcuffs. My ankles were tied up too. They also tied my ankles and wrists together. I was bent like a shrimp and I was no longer able to walk. My mouth was covered so that I couldn't even talk. I couldn't move, talk, or express myself in any other way. They had taken away everything that made me human. Therefore, I wasn't human anymore. I was just a toy named Rika Ferude, a toy to give Takano joy. The car started moving. It seemed like we were going back the way we came, but I didn't care anymore. As the time of my death approached, some of my forgotten memories came back to me. That's right, I was killed like this so many times. Every time I repeated my life, Takano got pleasure out of killing me. Somebody rubbed my head. Were they trying to comfort me? I shook my head to try and refuse. But they laughed at me as I did so. Tika! Tika! Okay, give me just like one minute. I'll be right, right. I'll be right back. This is the plan. I think that Takano <laughs> is just always meant uh, to do this. Dolls, thank you for the host. <laughs> How went the Chrono Cross? Welcome, fellow Dolzians. Uh, we are at the end of the seventh game in the Higurashi series. Uh, it is the. Uh, this is like the end. End. Uh, of this game, so things are about to get a little ugly and uh, a whole bunch of spoilery. So if you don't know this series or if you were thinking about playing these games, probably a good time to bail, unfortunately. Uh, but I appreciate you stopping by, of course. Uh, so, let's get back to things. Hanyu showed up. She couldn't hold back her devastated tears. <laughs> Yeah, that's like two people playing Chrono Cross as of late, and I'm just like, what is wrong with you people? When I saw Hanyu's painful tears, I was convinced. I was wrong. Hanyu is not just a bystander. She's just too scared to face reality because she can't stand the pain anymore. Hanyu wants a happy future too, but her hopes were betrayed countless times and she was hurt far too much. For some reason, seeing her sorrowful expression calmed me down. Perhaps Hanyu was crying in my place. Hanyu, 
あれだけ努力した精一杯頑張ったもう一息で運命を覆せそうな予感すらしたそれでも届かなかったなら仕方がないしそれにねなんだか<笑>気持ちいいの I never fought this hard in my life. I've never learned so many things. Because I can repeat my life endlessly, I've been taking each one for granted. But everyone else is taking their lives seriously. I wasn't learning anything because I wasn't doing that. But I finally understand. I learned something from this life, and I put all my effort into it. So, I'm sad that I didn't make it, but I feel satisfied just the same. It's a strange kind of satisfaction. I wonder how many of these memories I can keep. I get the sense that I'm going to lose my memory of this evening. If that's the case, I will lose my memory of seeing Takano's face. I've finally found out that Takano is the mastermind. Am I going to repeat the same world again, not knowing the truth? She killed my friends as if she were merely killing some bugs. I don't want to forget that. No matter how hard my death will be, I need to remember Takano's Honey, face. I don't この記憶がたとえ引き継げなくてもいいがむしゃらに生きていく6月の狭い日々にしか生きられなくなり最後には綿流しの日にしか生きていられない存在になってもいいそれが私のせいなら精一杯生きてきっと自分の僕も忘れません覚えててもしリカが忘れていたらきっと僕が教えますから羽生あなたはやっぱり冷たい傍観者のふりをしていたのは悲しさに帯僕もみんなと楽しく過ごす未来に行きたかったです<笑>ハニュ started to cry like a baby. She's so stupid. She decided to abandon hope because she didn't want to deal with the sadness that she always felt on this night. But she ended up hurt and devastated anyway. Hanyu, are you happy with this world that this world is ending just like you predicted? I decided not to ask her such an unpleasant question. <laughs> probably not the time to be fighting with your ghost girlfriend. It's probably bad. You know, probably, you know, maybe read the room a little bit. The car stopped and two men pulled me out of the vehicle. We were returned to the Ferrude Shrine. There were several men waiting in front of the offertory box. Nearby, there were countless sharp knives laid out on the ground. They were going to cut open my stomach with these tools and pull out my intestines. They took off all of my clothes. They let the gag inside my mouth and the handcuffs around my wrists. I wasn't embarrassed to be naked in front of them. Rather, I was furious that Takana was getting joy out of doing this to me. Don't forget this humiliation. The pain I'm about to experience should be carved into my soul forever. I'm not going to forget this. Everyone worked together and we finally revealed who's behind it all. If I forget this, my friend's efforts and deaths will have been in vain. I need to stay alive as long as I can so that I will remember the pain. Oh shit. Like, yeah, like you can't look away either. You gotta fucking accept this. <sighs> そして心に刻んで<笑>僕にはそのくらいの協力しかできないのでしょうか触ることも喋ることもできない僕にはそんなことしかできないのでしょうかそれで十分よあなたが目を背けないでいてくれたなら私も多分I don't remember being knocked out at all, is the thing. Like, the, I had, uh, when I had my uh, hernia repair earlier this year, I don't remember being knocked out at all. I remember my heart rate was up because I was nervous. And, like, the doc uh, one, uh, a doctor's aide came in. I think it was the anesthesiologist. He was like, Don't tell the doctor. I'm going to give you the good stuff. And he, like, he put something in my IV, and I immediately was just like, Man, this is the best high I've ever felt, y'all. I love each and every person in this fucking room right now. 
And I remember um, joking around with the doctor for a couple of seconds, and then I woke up like a, uh, I guess I I went out at some point, and I and, it, and then suddenly it was like two hours later. So <laughs> very weird. I don't remember being knocked out at all. Yeah, I got real life Watanagashi. Hanyu nodded and sat right next to me while ca while continuing to cry. Don't CG this, please. I don't want to see this. We then looked up at the sky together. The moon was shining brightly as if taking pity upon me. We also looked at the faces of my murderers. The beautiful moon was gradually stained red. It's getting cold. It's so painful. I'm consumed with the fear of not being able to do anything about this, but Hanyu is right next to me. That gives me comfort. It's not just Hanyu either. Everyone is here with me. Everyone is there watching me so I can stand this torture. That is why it wasn't painful. I didn't struggle. I didn't care what Takano, I didn't care about Takano's crazy laughter. This was such a wonderful world. We didn't overcome this fate, but I have no regrets. Of course I'm still sad. I'm disappointed. My future was right in front of my eyes. My hand could almost reach it. Even so, we did what we could. I have to be proud of myself. Keiichi voiced his disagreement. He still, ha he still felt that we could have done more. We were almost there. We almost defeated this fate. We didn't win, but not because our enemies were strong. We didn't win because we didn't try hard enough. But... <laughs> Whoa! Wait, what? Oh, wow. We're having like that cool afterlife moment here. Whoa. そうなんだよ。全員が信じたなら必ず奇跡が起こせるんだよ。さとこも理香ちゃんももみんなよく頑張りました。ごめんなさいですわ、リカ。あなたが打ち明けの勇気を見せてくれたのに、私はあなたを
誰がです What? Who can it be? ねえあなた Rena knows. Rena turned to Hanyu and asked her a question. あなた信じてた Oh man. 運命に打ち勝てるって信じててくれたああ<笑>触れることができなくても、喋ることができなくても。そ<笑>う、ちょっと、ファクリーでは。信じることはできるんだよ。あなたも信じてくれたなら、きっと奇跡が起きた。僕が信じて、何が変わったのでしょうか。僕は何もできない、非力な存在なのです。僕は見ていることしかできない。受け入れることしかできない。そんな僕が、信じるだけで、奇跡が起こせたというのですかああ、起こせたな。ケイチ stated it clearly. He wasn't trying to blame her, he was just stating the truth. そうだね。あの時、こっちは6人だった。向こうは七人だった。Oh wow, that's good, that's good, that's good. There were seven of them. That's good. あなたが信じてくれてたら、それだけで心は七つだった。だったなら、きっと奇跡が起きた。奇跡はね、触れたり喋ったりで起こすんじゃないんだよ。信じる気持ちが起こすんだよ。ハニワンはリアルなエンディングは何かを起こしたことは、それは何かを起こしたことは、それは何かを起こしたことは、それは何かを起こしたことは、それは何かを起こしたことは、それは何かを起こしたことは、それは何かを起こし悲しみや辛さと戦う勇気が必要だったあなたも運命と戦う勇気が必要だったあなたが望んだならみんなが望む世界にきっと行けたそれがあなただけが信じなかっただけでたどり着けなかったならそれはあなたの責任なの It was hard to believe Rena could say something so harsh. Her words were piercing Hanyu's heart, but those words were necessary for me and for her. Only faith can create a miracle. That sounds like something you might hear in a fairy tale. It's not easy to put into action. People suspect others, they don't trust others. It's easy to not have hope. It's so difficult to believe. That's why faith can make miracles happen. <laughs> レナとあなたは話しているよ。私は、あなたと言葉を交わしたのは、これが初めてだけれど、いつもあなたがいるのを知っていた。あなたに、言葉をどうすればかけられるか、考えていたよ。私たちが楽しく遊んでいるとき、あなただけが、輪の外から眺めていたことを、知っていたんだよ。輪の中に入りたくても僕は誰にも見えないし話しかけられないし僕を見たらみんな化け物だと言いますです僕はもう二度と化け物と言われたくないのです誰が言うよそんなことをああ俺たちと一緒にいたなら俺たちは仲間だそうですわよ。仲間のことを化け物呼ばわりなんで失礼しちゃいますわ
化け物かどうかは容姿じゃなくて心で決まるんだよねシオンそういうことですまあその見地から言えば私の方がよっぽどバカなんですよ well, I mean... You know, I gotta give the girl credit for honesty here. <laughs> yeah, he floats diagonally to a certain dominance. Hahaha! <laughs> She's literally going to take Oyashiro sama home. Yeah, it's more likely than you think. I realized then that I was standing with everyone, looking down at my own body. I see, I'm finally dead. I looked at my bloody body by my feet. It upset me that Takano was still enjoying the torture, but the body that remained was nothing but a shell. Everyone smiled wryly, with my first time feeling so much love and death. Everyone is, everyone is already dead, that's why I feel so happy to be dead, to join them. Suddenly, the world got darker and my body started to sink downward. Yeah, like that has to happen, right? I could feel myself disappearing. I still had the sensation of my friend's hands on mine. Mina. So that's it. Let's go, let's go. You too. Mina という言葉に含まれてるんだよ。ほら、いつまでも泣いてないで。行こう。My vision had gone dark, but somehow I could still see. Rena offered her hand to Hanyu, and Hanyu slowly took Hanyu, it. Hanyu, you know what I know about you? I don't know what I know about you, but I don't know what I know about you. Everyone will always take you to you. Hanyu, you're the one who will be happy to be here. I will be able to take you to everyone. Rena touched Hanyu's hand. It felt like everyone else laid their hands on top, too. If only they had hands to do so. Let's go, Hanyu. Let's accept this sorrow so we can embrace joy as well. Believe in the bright future that's waiting for us. The miracle will happen. We will obtain it. Okay? Yes, Hanyu said with a definite nod. Oh boy. We did it, everybody. We did it. We, we we survived. We survived the massacre chapter. Who was he for me, T? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. We still got one game left. Who do you think your Fumi T is? I'll put it on the table. Who do you think your Fumi T is, Sarah?
So you're saying Hifumi Takano? So what is okay, Jetstorm? Who's Hifumi Takano? What what is that name? Who who is that? You don't know yet. Okay. <laughs> Hifumio. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, of course. Emergency manual number one. If the existence of a terminal patient, L5, is confirmed, the Institute Director must resolve the situation before the Level 5 begins engaging in antisocial behavior. However, they must ensure that the secret remains hidden. To that end, the Director may also request assistance from the Secretary of Preservation Unit. As for the, as for the Secrecy Preservation Unit, they may request permission to fire from the Institute Director to, to fire from the Institute Director if necessary. All efforts should be made to secure the level five subject to secure the level five subject is alive, but if that proves obstructive to maintaining secrecy, their life may be forfeit. At all times, maintaining secrecy and preventing exposure will be the highest priority. However, preserving secrecy will take priority over preventing exposure. Emergency Appendix 9. Emergency Manual Appendix 9 FAQ. Can Emergency Manual 34 be administered if the outbreak of Level 5 occurs, putting matters beyond the control of the Secrecy Prevention Unit? Additionally, is the Institute Director responsible for determining what constitutes as an out-of-control situation? Answer, yes. Question. If an accident occurs and, the, and a hazardous material, the H-170 series, is exposed to the public, can Emergency Manual 37 be, 30, 34 be administered? Answer, yes. If an accident has occurred and the nature of the Institute is revealed to the public, the Secrecy Prevention Unit will take steps to resolve the situation. However, if this information is spread too widely, can Emergency Manual 34 be administered? Additionally, is the Institute Director responsible for making that decision? Yes. The decision to execute Emergency Manual 34 must be carefully deliberated over and sanctioned by an official. However, in the case of an emergency, does the Institute Director have the right to make the final decision? Answer: The execution of Emergency Manual 34 must be sanctioned by an official at all times. However, the Institute Director may petition the urgency of its use to an official. Emergency Manual 34. In all red. That's probably important. Reproduction or removal of this document is prohibited. This manual may only be read by the with the appropriate permissions. This manual will only apply upon approval of the highest authority. Nothing short of an official authorization shall count as approval. Furthermore, those authorized to apply this manual must make their decision as soon as possible when it is required. If the, if the situation threatens to spiral out of control and the official accedes to this, that this is the case, the EDA Institute must make the final decision to preserve the secret and prevent its detection by others. The following is an outline of how to execute the final resolution. Terminate all patients above level 2. Destroy all evidence inside the Institute. Conceal the fact that this manual was administered. The contents of this manual must be executed by the Institute Director within 48 hours of the incident. If the Director is not available, the Chief Officer must execute it in its place. The Institute's director may demand support from the chief officer in executing this manual. If the manual is expected to be executed, the chief officer may issue the preliminary orders. The final resolution must be executed in the following steps. Disguise the incident as a natural gas disaster and quarantine the area. The quarantine unit must disguise themselves as police officers and isolate the Hidamazawa region from the outside world. The official explanation will be that there is a gas disaster within the village. The equipment for the operation will be stored in a vacant lot where the Yagochi Quarry used to be. The equipment must undergo routine maintenance. If the event of an external breach 
or internal in the event of an external breach or internal escape if they do not respond to the notice of a gas disaster or orders to evacuate use of firearms is authorized the approval to use firearms is given by the chief of the secretary of the secret secrecy preservation unit to the chief of the traffic blockade unit Shutting down communications. The communications sabotage unit must ensure that all forms of communication, including radio, have been disabled in the Hinamazawa area. They must take care not to fall under suspicion, and communications must be disrupted for a minimum amount of time. The facility belonging to the telephone company is inside the traffic blockade, so any civilians inside may be shot and killed. The chief of the secrecy preservation unit may give permission to use lethal force uh, to le lethal force to the chief of the communication sabotage unit, assembling the infected carriers. The secrecy preservation unit must assemble the infected populace in the Hinamazawa Regional Disaster Shelter. Refer to the enclosed documents for gathering procedures. Upon assembly, the unit must count the number of infected and confirm that everyone is present. Be sure to not allow the infected to expose the true nature of the gas disaster. Additionally, the infected must not be allowed to bring any large personal belongings with them. However, they may take their valuables, including bank books and cash. Infected who refuse to assemble may be shot, but the Chief of Secrecy Preservation Unit must carefully consider the decision to do so. Terminating the Infected Once they are assembled, the Secrecy Preservation Unit must terminate all of those infected. Before that point, care must be taken to ensure that they are not suspicious of the story of a gas disaster. Be sure that they are treated as humanely as possible. If any problems occur, the unit has the approval to fire their weapons. The chief of the secrecy preservation unit must make that, find, may, must make that decision. Bodies with gunshot wounds would not be placed together with those that have been poisoned. Concealment of the Institute the Institute Concealment Unit must collect all of the classified items, refer to, 190, refer to the 193 items in the appendix, in the Institute in order to suppress the evidence. Refer to the appendix for more detailed instructions. The research staff at the Institute must assist in this operation. This unit must exercise extreme caution as they will be handling a number of toxic substances. Strict quarantine must be maintained of the concealment block. The airproof... The airproof door must be welded shut and the underground area must be flooded. The entrance to the area must be welded shut and concealed completely. Furthermore, the concealment block will be completely removed within three years. The Institute Concealment Unit must eliminate all civilians who would try to approach the Institute. The use of firearms is not permitted except in emergencies. The Chief of the Secrecy Preservation Unit must give the order to fire. Searching the Village the Secrecy Preservation Unit must search the whole village for any survivors. Any person who was not present during the assembly must be found. Any survivors found after the termination of the infected may be shot immediately. However, if the survivor is willing to surrender, do not shoot and instead take them into custody of the Secrecy Preservation Unit. The unit must then terminate the captive using the same method as for the other infected. Post-mission transfer to general forces. <clears throat> Transfer the job to the official disaster recovery team. Make sure not to arouse suspicion. Complete withdrawal. After the completion of all operations, the Secrecy Preservation Unit must retreat from the Hinamazawa area. They must be careful not to be suspected by the disaster recovery team. Furthermore, the Institute will continue to secure the concealment block until complete removal is finished. The Queen and her Carriers. It is assumed that the pathogen has some kind of the same characteristics as creatures such as ants. There is a queen of the carriers of the disease, just like there is a queen ant, and the position has been passed down the line of the Ferude family. This assumption is made based on the legends and ancient writings that have been passed down to, in the village. It is already confirmed that the carriers have a tendency to protect their queen. Additionally, the queen carrier can only survive within the boundary of the village. Probability of outbreak. <coughs> As ordinary patients will become ill when they travel far away from the queen, it is assumed that the further and longer they are away from her, the higher the chance of symptoms occurring becomes. Also, mental state plays a strong factor as well, and it's estimated that those who are especially emotionally unstable or show strong yearning for their home are, are more likely to exhibit system, symptoms. It is believed that the Takano relaxation method... The Takano relaxation method? Who wants to go relax with Takano? It is believed that the Takano relaxation method is the most effective means of suppressing symptoms, but if the patient still shows no improvement, only returning them to their home and the queen will be effective. Concerning terminal patients, 
Terminal patients, as they suffer from an extreme persecution complex, are incapable of functioning within society. Cases of arson and murder have been confirmed. They may present severe problems for other units. Records show that terminal patients appear even in Hinamazawa, and they will not recover even if relocated near the Queen. Therefore, the decision to dispose of the problem must be made as soon as possible. It is recommended that the infected be quarantined before they start behaving irregularly. We suggest tracking down those formerly from Hinamazawa and placing them under special medical observation. The Collapse of the Carrier Community For the aforementioned reasons we predict that should, should the Queen Carrier die, the infected villagers will exhibit terminal symptoms on a village-wide scale. Terminal symptoms will begin showing within 24 hours at the earliest and 48 at the latest. For that reason, the final decision must be made within 48 hours. Based on the size of the village, neither ordinary officers nor the military police may be able to contact, may be able to control the chaos that they bring. We believe the best response to treat them as an armed anti-national uprising and immediately suppress them with the military. January 1945. To Colonel Koizumi of the Supreme Council for the Direction of War. From Hifumi Takano. June 23rd, 1983. Document E-420 of the 58th Defense Commissioner. At TECOM 733, Commander. TECOM 733 is hereby ordered to be on standby within 24 hours, armed for urban suppression. The company commander must also, be, uh, must also thoroughly study Emergency Manual Number 34. Select personnel carefully with the preservation of secrecy in mind. Additionally, test the effectiveness of the vaccine with, with the support of the National Reserve Center the National Research Center of the Infectious Diseases employ with employ those with positive immunity. June 23, 1983. Document E711 from the 58th Director of the NIHS. Attention Equipment Testing Company Commander 733. The National Research Center of Infectious Diseases. Infectious Pathogen Department Suite 13. Official seal omitted. About the Hinamazawa Syndrome. This is information regarding the Hinamazawa syndrome. The Hinamazawa syndrome is an infectious disease caused by a virus. There are no initial symptoms. Instead, their onset begins when the patient's emotional state becomes unstable or the queen carrier dies. The main symptoms of the illness are hallucinations and emotional instability paired with an extreme persecution complex. Furthermore, patients are frequently unaware of their own mental abnormalities, making, identifica making identification outside examination nearly impossible. The only way to do so is by observing symptoms inactive of terminal abnormal behavior. In many cases, patients engage in antisocial behavior, which is the largest issue created by the syndrome. This behavior is caused by hormonal factors, as this disease mainly affects the mind as opposed to the body. In the end, the patients will experience extreme irritation in their lymph nodes and will claw at their own throat or wrists. This is the only, support, this is the only symptom that is recognized by the patient. Important points regarding the sterilization operation. This is an advisory notice for virus control. The pathogen is an airborne infectious virus. Therefore, no effective preventative methods exist. Inoc an inoculation is required. After the mission is completed, all staff members must take a medical exam and those who po with positive test results must come forward. Be cautious when interacting with the carriers, villagers. Even after inoculation, any contact with their bodily fluids will cause infection. Do not come into direct contact with them. If assumed infection, individual if assumed infected, individuals must use the testing syringe and test themselves for the disease. If you feel an extreme irritation in your lymph nodes, it's likely you have terminal symptoms. In that case, you must get tested immediately. If the test result comes out positive, inject treatment medication C120. If the irritation persists after 10 minutes, use a second injection. If there is still no change in the symptoms, seek treatment at HQ. Do not use C120 if your test results are not positive. If used on a healthy body, symptoms of high fever, rashes, dilated pupils, and hallucination will be observable within 10 minutes. If this occurs, one must seek treatment at HQ. Government officials explain the entire situation in a luxurious meeting room adorned with a, with, with marble, with a marble table and crystal ashtrays. The chief cabinet secretary was in a panic. He'd never heard about any of this before. Feelings of panic were only natural. One girl's death was going to drive 2,000 villagers into a frenzy. <laughs> Hearing that a disease like that exists was surprising enough, but on top of that, it was secretly researched for military use, and now there was a horrific situation caused by the director of a local research institute engaging in embezzlement.
Yeah, I think someone called that on the podcast, I'm pretty sure. そんな危険な病気初めて聞いたよ。本当に治療の手段はないのか。はい。国立研究所の説明では重度感染者の発症に対する治療法は確立したばかりで全住民への対応は事実上不可能とのことです。最短で24時間以内、長くとも48時間以
国連に対し NBC 兵器開発疑惑の査察を要求するでしょう近隣国は政府主導でバッシングキャンペーンを展開もし事実を否定し、yeah, like、日外交を否定し、対日外交を否定し、対日外交を否定し、対日外交を否定し、対日外交を否定し、対日外交を否定し、対日外交を否定し、対日外交を否定し、対日外交を否定し、対日外交を否定し、対日政治的衝突を犯すでしょう。ユーロの国連総会は政治的衝突を犯すでしょう。国際信用はペンペン草一本残らんということかね。くさ。つまり、ひなみざわ地区と周辺自治体の数十万人だけの問題ではすまんということだな。すべてを闇に葬るための犠牲が2000人とは多すぎる。日本国内において生物兵器研究が行われていたことが露呈することだけは避けなければなりません。That's your answer. 私はどうやら対戦の亡霊の尻を吹く羽目になりそうですね。滅菌作戦は計画通りに隠密で実行できるのかね。滅菌作戦が発覚すれば、奇病研究以上の大スキャンダルになるぞ。ご安心くださいそれにつきましては自衛隊内の機密保持に特化した専門部隊が当たりますこのような事態を想定し研究と訓練を重ねた部隊です万一の失敗はありえません都市沈黙戦という言葉は初めて聞きましたがこれはが自衛隊に合戦を習熟した部隊があったとは驚きましたガス防護を知るにはガス栓を知らなければなりませんガス虐殺に備えるにはガス虐殺を知らねばなりません装備実験体は日本国が受ける可能性のある全ての攻撃に対し日夜研究を重ねています I can have a little war crime as a tree He let out a small sigh, but he couldn't see the line between ethical and unethical. Can any research be justified by the excuse of preparing against hostilities? But that's also what preparation was all about. Some evils must be accepted as necessary. The EDA institution was one such evil. Akase no kenki o homuru tame ni akase no hoho o toru ka. Zai yaku kan no tomonau ni imu da ga. Tain kara jijitsu ga more dasu koto wa nai no ka ne? Ari e masen. 隊員は第一空艇から精鋭を選抜しさらに高い忠誠心を持つ者の,のみで構成しております実戦はこれが初めてになりますが練度は極めて高く内部の機密保持も問題ありませんまさに暗殺の専門部隊ですね総理どうか緊急マニュアル第34号の執行にご決裁をお願いいたします防衛庁長官この作戦は必ず成功しますか事件が大騒ぎになる前に食い止められますかい,いえ犠牲者を最小限に抑えられますかはい総理すでに予備命令を発し作戦準備に入っておりますご決裁がいただければ直ちに出動して作戦に入ります私には人口2000人を虐殺する命令など下せませんですが内閣総理大臣として犠牲者を最小に抑える義務もあります。胸中をお察しします。長官。どうか犠牲者が一番少なくて済む方法を選択してください。2000人がどうしても治療できないなら、不必要な犠牲者が出ないよう、迅速な対応をお願いいたします。はい。ご決裁を必ずや、朗報をお持ちいたします。2000人の犠牲が朗報と呼べるならですがね奥野君東京の皆さんに近日中にお会いできる席を設けてください今回の件について釈明を直接聞かせていただきたいと思いますわかりましたところでその問題の研究所長の入江氏は逮捕しましたかいえ服毒自殺とのことです
研究の終了が自身の人生を否定されたものと悲観しての発作的犯行と思われていますが、well, 何彼を狂気に駆り立てた理由は永遠に闇の中ということですか The execution of emergency manual 34 is approved June 23rd, 1983. Prime Minister Quadruple X, Director General of Defense Agency Quadruple X. I mean, yeah, I think that this game in and of itself is frustrated and disgusted with the same people. Mina san! You saw no to go to Nimotso or Motskoto or Degimase! Tenimotso or Kinjimas! Exactly, like this is very timeless、uh, in a way that's very unfortunate. Tenimotso or Kinjimas! Genkin, Tucho, Inca, no Tagui, the Kao Keta, Sekasai! It was the middle of the night, and yet countless villagers were out and about. Some of them were locking their doors, some of them were watering their plants, and some of them were piling up, were piling up food for their dogs, dinner, their dogs' dinner bowls. Small children were crying in fear. Members of the town council were yelling angrily while counting up the villagers. Reportedly, the village had been cut off from the rest of the world after volcanic gas gushed out of the mountains. The number of policemen and military units in the village added to the strong smell of sulfur in the air, dispelled any doubts the villagers might have had. The more religious among the elderly were convinced that this was the curse of Rika Furude, who had passed away the day before. They were certain that Oishiro sama was enraged and that the door to hell had been opened. Soldiers wearing gas masks guided villagers into the evacuation center. Why did Peter was s a i a i n a no ni k e p o n m o t e k i t a r a s h a Mina san ga kinan s t a t o no kaoko o mamoru tame des. Mada saigai ni binjo ste, shoten o shungek sur boto ni taishte des. We're protecting property because that's all cops do. That's all they're good for. Hina mi tawa ni sonda ya kara wa oran no shia. Dai chou dai, Hina yu do j u n c h o ごい。立候補団体を応援に向かわせます。兵隊さん、じいさまの遺灰を持ってちゃならんがね。遺灰は構いません。急いでください。町会の方は天候を怠らないように。歩行困難な方は申し出てください。隊員が補助します。おお、
fucking terrifying. Like, this is absolutely fucking terrifying to think about, so that you could be so cut off from the rest of the world in a situation like this. It's absolutely mortifying to think about. And so they had nothing to rely on but the instructions of the police and the military. They were all like moths heading towards a light, never doubting that they would be safe there. One old war veteran listened to the noise in the radio and muttered, As it turned out, he was absolutely correct. However, he turned off the radio, his son urged him to evacuate. The villagers had all gathered at their evacuation points. Some of them were at school, some were at the community center. They were to stay at the buildings until the evacuation vehicles arrived. The soldiers told them to stay inside so they could keep track of the number of evacuees. Hey guys, it's a club room. We're gonna do club activities, right? <laughs> People started to seal up the windows and vents with duct tape. That was handed to the... Man, literally, this is... Got some real ugly parallels. They completely sealed every opening as they were heard disqui as a qu disquieting conversation of the soldiers. It was long past 3 a.m., but everyone was wide awake with fear. They, had, they were having an extremely long night. Coincidentally, the end of their night had almost arrived. They all started saying that the gas disaster was caused by the curse of Oishiro-sama and Rika's death and the mysterious disappearance of her friends and the two detectives were also the result of the curse. People started talking about being demoned away. They had no idea that Keiichi and his friends short battle sealed their fate that night. The more religious villagers had become convinced that the children of the de and the detectives went missing because they were vol they volunteered to become a sacrifice to calm Oyashiro-sama's anger after Rika's death. They didn't know the truth. They couldn't know. Not one. No, not one realized that Keiichi and his friends' efforts had been in vain. Indeed, in Hinamizawa, everything that happens is the will of Oyashiro-sama. But why did it have to be that way? Before the series of mysterious deaths occurred, no one really used the term the curse of Oyashiro-sama that frequently. In other words, who set them up? People in this village were set up to believe that the curse of Oyashiro-sama happens every year. They really are just too superstitious. Sansa, いよいよね。親城様の宝が現実となる。親城様の怒りが村に下される。それで、この荒ぶる神の怒りなのだから。始めなさい。中隊長より全隊へ。彼らのために一分間の黙祷を捧げよう。さんさ、一分だけご許可を。お好きになさい。Talking <笑> out gave him the disparaging laugh. The company commander crossed his heart and began to speak. The company commander isn't Christian. In fact, he doesn't follow any religion. However, he prayed because he felt the need to ask someone for forgiveness. He wasn't even sure if he was saying it correctly, but he still prayed to God. He asked forgiveness for committing his sin and continued to pray. Takana was speaking in a soft voice. She was talking to herself. Kami ga itsu kōrin sareru no ka wa dare mo shirai. 
それは例えるなら泥棒がいつ訪れるのかわからないようにだから予期せずしてその時を迎えて不信心であったことに歯ぎしりすることがないよう常にエセ預言者たちは神の降臨を声高に叫ぶであろうがそれに惑わされてはなりませんか<笑>マタイの福音書ですねそうなの祖父の好きだった言葉よ報われる日がいつ訪れるかわからないから常に勤勉であれって言葉だと思っていたけど今日が報われる日なのですかそうよあなたにはわからないでしょうけどね<笑>失礼ながら主の降臨は慈悲深いものであるべきだと信じていますこのような日にそれを例えられることは冒涜かと思います He was trying to tell her that using that verse in the Bible was inappropriate for the occasion however Takano simply laughed as though she had heard something very funny <笑>ごめんなさいねあなたは神に試されなさい私は今日を境に試す側となるのよ以上で黙祷を終了する大将代滅菌を返せよ The order was given in as hollow and reluctant a manner as an order can possibly be People were packed in the classroom. They were afraid. The troopers closed the door of the classroom. The people inside had no idea why they were doing that. However, they didn't suspect anything at all. One old man walked up to the door to open it, and because with it closed, it was, as far, it was far too hot outside of the room. But he collapsed all of a sudden. His wife tried to walk over to help him up, but she also collapsed all of a sudden. Then, other people also started collapsing inside of the room. It really was a very odd sight. What would make for a good example? It would be pretty amusing if they were dominoes. However, they're human beings. People sitting by the window watched the strange event happen before their eyes. They opened their eyes wider to try and understand what was going on. Dam 戦争をきっかけに長き眠りから蘇った荒ぶる神が不信心なる者を渡流しの聖夜の旅にたたりを下してゆく。その一年一年の積み重ねが神の復活お社様の遺構の復活たたりを恐れるという原始的恐怖への回帰 The door creaked open slightly and someone on the other side threw three spray canisters into the room more people started to collapse even those at the window There wasn't something that was happening only in one room. It was happening in all the other rooms too. It was happening in all the evacuation centers. People's dreams, their hopes and futures were taken away so quickly and easily. そして誰もがお社様のたたりを疑わなくなり完全に復活した我は古き無黒の腹を打ちより破りて今こそこの世に蘇る。お社様の怒りに触れる時地獄の釜が開きて正気が溢れ出し人々は逃げることもかなわずことごとく生き絶えるなりその最後の審判がたたりがこうして実現した She's really chewing these lines up 
There was a commotion in the reception room by the principal's office. Someone had figured out what was going on, broke the seal off the window, and escaped outside. Other people tried to remove the seal on their windows too, but they collapsed in a matter of seconds. The soldiers shot the people who tried to escape in the back. The sound of the gunshots echoed in the silence. It was a noise filled with cruelty. They obviously fell down to the ground. Their deaths were so pitiful compared to the silent deaths of those before them. The residential police officer was one of the escapees. He tried to shoot back at them with his own gun. His shots could be heard throughout the building. The soldiers ducked into the shadows upon hearing the noise. The officer seized his chance and ran towards the gate, but it was just a waste of time. Not only is the range of the automatic weapons they were using longer than the length of the schoolyard, but as, a train pro but as trained professionals, it would be nothing for them to shoot him from that distance. The villagers had no choice. Either they'd die from the gas without realizing what was happening, or they'd find out about the mission and be killed. The soldiers walked over to the four fallen bodies. They needed to make sure they were all dead, not just injured. わたしは残した。名を残した。異形を残した。たたりを残した。私の存在はこの長く封鎖されるこの土地で神格化されるだろう。そして近隣の町にて今日のたたりを逃れた者たちは、たたりを恐れ。その恐怖を人々に語り継ぐだろう。人間の群れの記憶が私を超越した存在へ昇華させるのだ。第一小隊より本部、エイリン署の滅菌を終了。脱走者4名は射殺。第二小隊より本部、作戦終了。脱走者
電話施設の現状復帰を開始タカナオは、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、彼女は、三神のいなかったこの地に新しい神が誕生した瞬間を称える三家よこの雛見沢には神などいなかったお社様という名が残るだけ神がかつて存在した痕跡が残るだけのただの古ぼけた土地だったその地に私は再び神を取り戻させたのどういうことかわかるわからないでしょうね<笑>今の世界にたたる神が何人いる人が試すことに耐えられる神が何人いる一人もいやしないそれを私がたたったマニアだー She did everything she wanted to! タカナは、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、信仰が神を生み出すのなら、yeah, like, 神にたたりなど必要ない maybe, !I think maybe in the middle of a military operation, don't be given speeches like this, even if, you know, you're the big bad, maybe wait till you get home, you know, get you some wine in you, you know, get in front of the mirror, maybe give this little speech. I wouldn't be giving this in the middle of an operation like this because, I mean, if, if, if my immediate superior was giving a speech like this during a mission, I'd, 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 I, I, I would be putting a call into somebody. Demo Taiko no Kamigami wa tatatta no yo. Dewa, Kami no tatari to wa nan na no ka. それこそが真の神の証だった。Hey, nobody's doubting the girl's, like the girl's dedication. She's very clearly goal driven. たたらない神など、人間に見下された神でしかないのよ。神の宿らぬ抜け殻の土地に、神が確かに存在した痕跡を見た私は思ったわ。これは天の啓示だと。ダム戦争が終わるまで、明治から百年にもわたり、ひなみざわは神を失ってきた。それを私がよみがえらせろという神の啓示だと私は思ったわ。そして天は私にありとあらゆる力を貸してくれた。Yeah, she's little Miss War Crime. <笑>天が与えたわずかの偶然が積もり、芽生えたたたりの芽を私が育てた。育まれたたたりは今や結実し、身をたわわに実らせてくれたわそうよわかるつまりは今宵は収穫祭お社様の伝説に刻まれた最後の神のたたりの日この日が訪れたからこそお社様の存在は今こそ絶対となるあなたたちは今はわからなくてもやがて知る私が成した偉業がどれほどのものかどれだけ長く語り継がれるかそして私がどれほどの存在となったのか神はたたるそのたたりを私は起こす今こそ我はお社様のたたりなり我を崇めよたたえよそして恐れよ我が紡ぐはたたりにあらず我が紡ぐは歴史なり歴史はたたりを語り我が存在を英語に語り伝えるであろう
マリこそはタタリなり肉でできた身を超越せし者なりこ今こそ我は永遠を得たり Oh yeah, this bitch buys her own bullshit. She does not, like, <laughs> she does not go halfway. Yeah, like, <laughs> she's just standing in the van, giving this speech. Everyone's gone home. They're taking showers.、Uh, they're trying to not hang themselves in their basement for how terribly they feel about having taken part in this. Except Takano was actually getting shit done in a major way. <laughs> Yeah, I could see like, her actually following them home. She's got a loudspeaker driving in her car behind them, just screaming out the window. そして恐れよ我が紡ぐはたたりにあらず死にあらず我が紡ぐは歴史なり歴史はたたりを語り我が存在を英語に語り伝えるであろう我こそはたたりなり肉でできた身を超越せし者なりこの身がたとえ朽ち果てようとも我が紡ぎし歴史は永遠に残り続けるであろう今こそ我は永遠を得たり我が身を呪えよ人間たち身が朽ちれば後には何も残せぬ無力さを呪い悔やみ恐れるがいい Lady, we got it the first twenty-four times! 我が偉大さを知るがいい I think this part is a little overwritten 親代様なり今こそ神の領域に至ったものなり I like that she's making Sayara some hand, That's the joy that I get out of this. The f this fragments end. <laughs> all right, guys, 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 guys. I can fix this. I can make us all feel better. I promise. I can do this. I need you to trust me. Trust that I can fix this. I can, I'm going to help. I'm going to help right now, okay? Who's ready for help? Who's ready to feel better? Let's make chat feel better. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Hold on. Hold on. I got you. I got you, boo. Don't worry.
I know, right? I should have just played this over like the last 45 minutes of Takano's monologue. <laughs> there, I fixed it. I made everybody feel better. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, in terms of Higurashi Kai, uh, you can now watch uh, the anime-exclusive arc, and you can watch Mina Goroshi. Do not watch the next episode preview of uh, for the episode at the end of Mina Goroshi, though. Don't watch that. So, we do have a couple of more things to, to, to dig into here. We've got to go to extra, and we got to go to the tips, because we got this tips, or, or this fragment's end. Yeah, you can watch up to episode 13. This fragment's end. Hey, look, it's Purple World again. I guess Rika finally managed to assemble all the pieces to her puzzle, but we don't know yet if her memories will pass on to her next life. Rika always loses her memory of her death. I don't know if she can retain if she can retain the memories of what she's discovered. What did you think? Did you have fun? Once you find out the answers, collecting them isn't so much fun anymore. You don't agree? I see. You still might find something different by examining some old fragments. After all, the time we have here is endless. We have to find something to play with, because there's nothing to do here. For me, playing with these fragments stops being fun when I find out what's inside. But if you can tell me how to have fun with them even so, with them even so that makes you pretty smart. What? You want to know what I, you want to know what I play with? I don't play. I'm just killing time. I like to imagine what Rika could have done in order to achieve the future she hopes for. I like to imagine a world that would have been happy for all of them. You found out how those worlds were set up by looking at the previous ones, right? I like to analyze what would what I like to I like to analyze what would need to change in order for Rika to win against Takano. You want to see what's on my mind? Too bad, I'm not showing that to you. In that world, Rika and her friends survived their struggle and broke through the fate of June 1983. It's just my imagination. It's not for me to share with you. I'm sure the world where Rika is about to create. I'm sure the world that Rika is about to create is better than anything in my imagination. Even if she's stuck in June 19th, 1983, I'm sure this low end of world will remain one of Rika's brightest fragments. Either way, no matter how much she struggles, if she actually overcomes her fate, it will be the most brilliant fragment of her story. I'm sure the life Rika lives makes for a better story than my boring imagination. You want to know what happened to Rika? She made a decision to redo her life once again with Hanyu. She is trying to live her life with all her might. That's what she learned from this world. Her next life has already begun. I do wonder what that life is like. I'm going there now to check. Do you want to come with me? And finally the staff room. Hi, this is Ryukishio7. Thank you for playing Higurashi When They Cry Chapter 7 Mina Goroshi. This time around, the scenario was almost like the answer page book, uh, the answer page in a book of riddles. Or maybe the scenario was like the side dish we enjoyed alongside all the scenarios up to now. You can take it how you like, I just hope you enjoyed it. I was very nervous about releasing this scenario because my mis because a mystery is only good when it's still a mystery. This scenario ma this scenario marks the end of that mystery. To be honest, I didn't want to release this chapter for a while. However, way too many similar stories are being published with no answers at all. A book of riddles means nothing if there's no answer page in the back. Coming up with an answer when you have no way to see if it's right or not is a little sad, I think. If there are no answers, you can't get any joy out of reading a book of riddles. I regret to say I regret to see that there are way too many stories out there that don't offer this kind of joy. That's why I decided to release something that you can compare your answers to for this series. Since this world had a rather irregular presentation, there may not have been many people who reached what might be called the right answer. But it's not really about whether you an whether your answer was right or wrong. It's much more about how many questions you raised when reading the story and how many answers you were able to find. 
Thank you all very much for the solutions you sent me. They were all wonderful theories, and some were thought, some were thought out so much more than the actual thor story that I frequently thought about making them the right answer. Also, your support has given me courage to finish writing the seventh chapter of this series. Thank you very much for supporting Higurashi. Finally, I would like to apologize for how I portrayed the Child Consultation Center. I don't know what it's like in 1983, but Child Consultation Centers are not mean places like I depicted in my story. I made the characters look so unfeeling, but in reality, the government today is the number one hero for us civilians. In fact, those involved with child welfare and youth education are all extremely passionate and selflessly devoted people. I'm sorry for giving them such a negative image in this chapter. The next chapter, Matsuri Bayashi, is going to be the last one of the series. I'm overwhelmed by the pressure of writing the last chapter of Higurashi When They Cry, which turned out to be such a long story. I hope you'll continue your kind support. Thank you all very much. 07th Expansion, Ryukishi 07. And there we go. That is... The End Proper. For Mina Garoshi. I hope you all enjoyed... I hope that when we come back for Matsuri Bayashi, which I think it might start like next Monday or Tuesday. I haven't really decided yet. Like, I don't know. It'll start sometime next week. I just keep an eye on the old Twitter. You'll find out. It'll probably be sometime around there. Uh, but thanks everybody for coming out. And again, thanks for like sticking along with this ride. It's crazy. But we're almost there, everybody promise the finish line is in sight and i think you're going to enjoy it quite a bit